Good morning. So due to a very lovely Christmas, I have a few new toys that I'm experimenting with. I have a cool light. I have a little microphone. I got a remote control starter. Um, so my videos are going to be kind of fun for me to do for a little bit. <clears throat> Everything's a little new. I'm working on it, but I'm having fun. So I wanted to talk today about FOMO. So have you heard of FOMO. We're all a little bit older here that watch this channel. It is called the fear of missing out. F-O-M-O. -O. And I want to, I heard a video, I heard somebody else online talking about changing that first word from fear to joy. And so anything, at any time we live our life based on fear, it's not going to go as well as when we live our, our life based on joy. And this is actually a really good way of saying what I've been feeling. It puts a much better spin on the way I've been feeling. So <clears throat> instead of like, like tonight, I'm going to a New Year's Eve party. We're probably going to be up way too late. Um, and there's all of my friends are amazing cooks with lots of kids and they used to be Amish. So everything they cook is delicious and has lots of sugar and is really, really good. So instead of feeling afraid of missing out on all these lovely things that they are making and bringing and, and all the fun things that, that are going on, instead of being afraid of that, I'm going to take joy in missing out, the joy of missing out. And what, what does that even mean? Well, I am just absolutely joyful that I'm not going to wake up with joint pain in the morning. I'm joyful that I'm not going to be waking up all night long with a stomach ache because of something that I ate. I, I feel, sometimes I feel sad for the people that I love as I'm watching them eat the things that I know are causing them the pains that are bothering them. And so I feel joy for myself that, that I am not caught in that same, that same trap guess I'm kind of hoping nobody watches this <laughs> that are my friends because it feels very insulting. I don't mean to be like that. I just, I know that I found something that works really well for me and I believe it will work well for them. They have other uh, things that they want to try right now, which is totally fine. But I'm just really, really joyful at finding carnivore and that I can still go to these parties. We're going to play cards. It's going to be a blast. And I'm going to sit there with my water and I'll probably bring a bag of pork rinds so I have something to chew on. And I'm going to be joyful, absolutely joyful at this lifestyle that I have found and how good it makes me feel. So I'm going to give you an update on my cheese experiment. I did lion diet for a week and I've basically done cheese and pork rinds and lunch meat and whatever else that I wanted. All carnivore, all good things, but I am a mess. I'm not going to go into that right now. I just want to let you know how joyful I am when I eat the things that make me feel good. Do not be afraid of missing out. You are not missing out on anything. Take joy in the stuff that you're missing out on, which is the brain fog, the depression, the weight gain, the aches and pains, um, whatever, arthritis, like all the things that you've been experiencing before, do not be sad that you're missing out on the taste of sugar. You can remember what that tastes like. Think of what you're going to be so joyful about missing out on. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I love your comments. Please comment. Oh, I just touched the microphone. Sorry. Please comment. I love, love, love to hear from you. Have a merry, merry new year. No, happy new year. <laughs>